Hey there friends, welcome back to the channel, my name is Andy and today we are continuing our CK3 run as Haral Hairfair of the Viken. Uh, last time we uh, miraculously won a, a war against uh, Yulan, I believe. Um, Yulan, right? No, Shellan. Uh, actually. Uh, uh, and I say miraculously because we were undermanned and uh, occupied, but glorious uh, Jemtland uh, saved us by um, capturing the heir of the Jarl or something like that. And we were able to have a white piece because of that. So glory to uh, Jemtland for that. Now, let's uh, just continue here. Um, currently, we have no heir of our own. We need a um, a uh, son or a daughter. Uh, right now, our heir is our cousin. And he is that because he's the same house as us. Uh, actually, is he? Yes, he is. But our primary heir, that's, that's the thing. Our primary heir is um, a different person. Altogether from House Lada. Now we cannot let that happen, of course. So we need a new bride. She, currently, she's only eight years old, <laughs> which is way too little. Um, so that will take some time. So let's see. We have a uh, perk to unlock um, for us. Being a military genius is extremely important. Uh, never back down could be a wise choice. Uh, however, we also want to um, declare a lot of wars, I think, which cost prestige or piety. Um, but we do want that strong army. So I do think we need to uh, unlock never back down. Uh, we do have an elite quality army as of uh, right now. Um... But I think since we won that last war, uh, we will focus just a bit on building up our uh, Jarldom. Um, so what we'll do, I think, is actually raise our uh, soldiers as raiders. And go on some raids, like some proper Vikings. Uh, now this is, of course, quite um, risky, uh, risky too, because... Uh, if we lose our like the enemy can of course attack attack our Viking Raiders <laughs> which is um, which, could, which could be a problem um, Now the reason why I have him increase control in Oslo is because we actually uh, Because Oslo was occupied it lost uh, con like we lost some control of the county uh, Which is really bad then you lose levies and the uh, taxes so that's not something that you want to lose, of course. Let's see, throws of passion. I find my courtier Grima waiting eagerly. Her mouth, those soft lips, that seeking tongue. Her eyes smile at me. She reaches a gentle hand around my neck, pulling my lips closer. For, for a moment I resist, but only a moment. Goosebumps rise on her skin as I let my fingers slightly trail across her body. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Uh, with one last all-consuming kiss, it ends. This moment will return in dreams for the rest of my life. Yes, this is of course our woman, uh, our concubine. Is it? Grima, your woman. Concubine, yes. Concubine. Uh, this is too good to be a one-time thing. Uh, we can lay with her again. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I guess we're, we were uh, seducing her because we needed the children, of course. She sure know how to please a man. I guess we can just end our scheme then. This was too good to be a one-time thing, but this will end our scheme. And this will end our scheme. Oh, okay. But this, this makes sure I love her. You know what? No. Let's just um, end it. Because we have a wife. and um, But I guess it doesn't matter can always legitimize the bastard if they are bastards. Let's see, to get the Jarldom of Agder here, we will need another one of these counties. Right now we have a peace with them, I think. No, actually we do not. Do we have... Do, you have, do we have Cast a Spell on it? We can declare war. Let me see. This is the chiefdom. Chief of... Uh, Chateau of Agdeside. Pregnancy. 
Let's see here. Right now we do not have a claim on it, I think. Um, that means it could be wise of us to uh, create that claim. So let's create a fabricated claim. And let's see. We are here, here now. And we should check out where we should raid. And we can see that by going over in the, in the county menu um, and check out loot. 21 loot, 17 loot. So 21 is obviously... Um, the best 23 over here we could we, we sh should probably want to be close to the water in case we need to scram uh, so let's just uh, hop off there right now we can see on the map too where places have been raided recently uh, so we do not want to go back there there's another raider kingdom of alba they are also i guess kind of viking like wow we're raiding quickly Damn, okay, here's, here comes the enemy. You know what, we're probably gonna get smacked. Yes, we will. Oh, no. See, they came extremely fast. Uh, barely had any time to do anything. Let's see, we lost, uh, we lost our gold. Uh, Jarl Halfdan has taken 21 gold and this victory gave him 11 prestige and that's Jarl Halfdan, I do guess. Yeah, so that kind of sucked. It is kind of difficult actually to uh, to raid England, I think, at least when you have such little foes. They came with 6,000 men or something like that. I guess Jorvik actually do have 6,000 men. And they want to uh, kick some more ass. Let's just uh, walk down here. They are... Uh, yeah. Let's see. We could try to raid um, another place, the Isles. They might ha not, not have people close to there. Well, this was, of course, your Jorvik's whole land. So, so, so it, it makes sense that they came quickly. Um, yeah, they have many more people than us. We should probably just return Can we raid ourselves? We probably shouldn't. And I don't think we can. Um, and it's good because for us, we do not pay anything to... Uh, let me see. Twins. Okay. We don't pay anything to, to disembark. Um, a good Norse name. Shartan, Vang, Ketilmun, Folki. After your father, Halfdan. Okay, Halfdan is fine. And uh, yeah, sure. Um, let's see. Now we have an heir. So we didn't actually need a wife uh, for that. We just needed a concubine. But a wife we needed for alliances. But she's unlanded anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, yes. Jämtland? Hmm. No. It does. Yeah. We Okay. Yeah. It, that, that was the Jämtland alliance. <laughs> uh, let's see. Are we getting these people back? Let me just disembark. Disband them. Okay. That was kind of unhelpful. Um, yes. Oh, control. We, we just want to get those people back now. Get away. So much as cost to hold a feast. 50. Let's see. A war. The sensibility y'all had a love weekend. I call on you to honor an alliance and join me in the Yemtland and the conquest of the Chiefdom of something. Kotar's batting or something. Let's see. 1300 and 1100 versus 1100 and 800. So we should probably win this. I'll join. Sadly, our men, we don't have that many. I guess we're getting close to what we were. We didn't lose any champions, I think. Let's also uh, just recruit uh, this guy to ensure that our quality remains top notch. Let's see, where are our enemies? Down here. So where's this place you're conquering? Okay. That's ambitious. Definitely ambitious. I guess we can't really raid while we're at this war. We do outnumber them. Um, of course, we we do gain pi. Uh, I mean, prestige and stuff from uh, from winning uh, or from participating.
Okay, let's go there. Oh yes, loss of control. Minus 20 in Westfall, that sucks. Because our steward is crap. Well, but we don't have any better. So there's kind of nothing we can do. here it's gonna take us six months to siege this town we have no siege equipment um, and our culture or whatever don't have that yet either way so phooey <laughs> see it's just speed up time nice I think um, this thing was on our side okay maybe let's maybe join this battle we got some money from sieging that's good and okay, we're gonna. Oh man, that was. That's expensive. No other than no. Uh, you'll just. Yeah. Uh, okay, chances are even. I think we'll probably. I don't know. Why are you moving away though? Come back. Come back! <laughs> anyway, we're winning this, I think. Champion injured. But we're doing this. We're hacking at them. There we go. And let's go and siege this place. We got us a new skill. Number of knights plus four. That's actually really good. Let's do that. King's Guard. Sounds cool too. I can ransom a person for 25. You know, that, that is a lot uh, these days. Let's ransom. Another battle. Um good we got that money that means we can probably afford some new champions good and we're getting prestige and stuff uh, for this more battles I guess that's another place okay knights or champions I guess um, yeah these are kind of bad so I think we'll wait until we can invite some new champions which we can do in four years that's of course some time But until then, we'll save up some money. Camp dispute. After, after my army sets up camp, I hear a commotion coming from my champion's lodgings. Investigate the, the disturbance. I find Alphagite and Don in the middle of a heated argument while several onlookers edge them on. So this is the thing we failed early on, I think. 50-50. Let's take our chances this time. Uh, failed. So we might as well just join in. We lose... Or what a mess. Um, 44 stress is a lot right now. Ah, just, uh, I think we'll... I don't want to risk getting stressed. So I'll do what a mess. Yeah, basically destroy these people. We're getting, like, we have like a ticking war score now. So, we should be winning this fairly soon. What's technology? Yeah, so it's from the whole Norse thing, I guess. I wonder where we can create individual cultures. Probably when we create um, the Kingdom of Norway, for example. I think I'll cut, uh, cut into this guy. Oh, we won the war. Someone could another child. If someone could just uh, you know um, end this war. There we go. We got 53 prestige, and uh, he likes us more. Uh, I guess that's you know it's something. High chief, high chief. Okay, and you are high chief in Nordmark. Okay, this whole place. This whole place. Damn, for 94. How much money do you make? Uh, you make some money every month? Okay, so now it's probably 95. Should be 95. Let's see. 95, yeah, you know, whatever. Let's do it. Um, maybe we can then make something. Yeah, 75. Uh, I think 
the important thing for us is to actually make money so we can make even more stuff. So I think we'll start with building some, making some markets. Uh, we just have such low control, which really sucks. Markets would be like, it's the same thing you'll make either way, uh, anywhere. Uh, I guess it depends on if you have other modifiers. But since Tunspike is our capital, it could make sense to... Um, um, hold on. Oslo seems to have more potential building slots. Four. Five. Um, another war. This guy from Nanda Fulke up here. Versus these two. That's a war will win. Where are you? Okay, this is my mother. They're not married matrilineally. And she's not even from my... From my dynasty. So, you know what? Let's just decline this... Um, I don't care. <laughs> Maybe we should move the realm, realm capital. Um, my son, another son, great. Um, that's that sucks. Guess there'll be a succession battle unless we disinherit someone. Um, our our people are soon back up. Yeah, let's actually let's uh, be your educator. That way we can sort of influence your training um, and we should maybe host a feast or call let's call a hunt so we can um, remove some stress that remove itself actually 22 it's much more 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 before okay but you know what let's make uh, let's make some markets Hunt, a moment alone. My lord, a heart. My lover, Gila, gestures me to join her in the chase. As soon as we're hidden in the plains, she turns around and tugs my shirt over my head. Finally, some time alone, my little firebrand. Um, hmm. But what about the heart? <laughs> yeah. Prowess and stewardship for five, for five years? I'm not going to say no to that, actually. And we don't need any more children right now. We can make something in Oslo, too. Uh, let's make another market. Very good. Um, Train from the wild, that's some more prestige. Okay, I think we'll actually race our soldiers again and try to go on um, another raid, but this time not in uh, Jurevik. Um, you know what? Let's see if there's anything good to have in France or even up here. Let's see. Maybe, oh, Bruges 30. Okay, let's try that. The only thing, you kind of want your people to be involved somewhere else, and they are defending against Sultan Mohammed uh, in the whole war for the Duchy of Portugal. Because you are allied with someone, aren't you? Yes, with uh, Adelfonso of Asturias. So the war is over here. It's a beautiful map. Indeed, a beautiful map. Ooh, Armani. <laughs> is that where they make the suits? Let's see. Uh, yeah, so she has uh, gotten another claim now. So it's still too expensive for me. Maybe we should just uh, have her do religious relations and then make a claim once we can actually afford it. Let's see here. Let's, uh, let's land. Seriously, how bad are you at managing stuff? What a shitty steward. See here, we got it, and let's get away. Actually, let's go, oh no, you know what, let's get away. He took a prisoner too. Okay, we can probably make some money off of that. 25, I'm not gonna say no. And another, another 25. Nice. Because there are no, um, there's no um, naval battles in this game, so we're actually safe once we just uh, get uh, get to sea. We're raiding really quickly. I wonder... Reaver, a plus 100%. That's actually an amazing perk. Because um, as you see here, we have this one, raid speed 100%. It's a commander trait. 
So our increased control task is done. Um, we should now increase control in uh, Tunspike here. And again, let's see, to unlock these ones, this is like a lot of marriage stuff. But once we get down here, we get Gallant. But I think maybe these ones are best, like, there's a lot of infantry and um, army perks down here. And this makes it less expensive to go to war, actually. So I think it's, instead of completing this, we'll go for that one. Bellum justum. Okay, get back into the sea, lads. Um, the Isles. Let's see, are there any more nice stuff down here? In Brittany, we have, let's see, maybe even here, 18, 18, Sturius. Okay, let's try it. 20, okay, in Calais. Try that. We're also pretty fast with uh, disembarking. I think that normally takes a lot more time. Okay, we have a lot of gold on us now. We have 47 gold. We do not want to lose this army. Uh, more war? No, I'm on the side of uh, Yemtan, so no thanks. Let's go here. Uh, let's go. Okay. Fire and blood. The settlement of Calais, an important stronghold in Greater Guinness, has fallen to my raiders. We have the run of vast tracts of land and many of the quivering subjects and shining treasures of Count Rudolf to choose from. This is the frightened Count Rudolf. The troops stand ready, awaiting my command to give them direction. Capture skilled slaves for transporting. The sea recently sacked. Um, okay, okay. Uh, so we get development progress by changed by 40 that's really good uh, bring me bounties of plunder we get gold and prestige uh, you know what gold we just want gold right now I think so let's get back 68 I think let's uh, let's get this army back to uh, to base so to speak oh, it takes so long to get in, in to the sea it's actually really scary because people could just show up Okay, good, we made it. There we go. And let's get you back. And we are getting back control. Our trading outposts and markets are done in like a year, basically. Did we take any prisoners this time? No, we did not. There we go, 68 gold, perfect. We could fabricate a claim now, but I kind of like doing this. So let's make, um, oh, I just hate our low control. Let's save the money for now and let's go back on a raid. Is what I say. Scheme at court. Uh, okay, existence of a, of a plot. Let's see here. Can we raid Paris? 18 only. I don't know, it's not really worth going that deep into it, I think. Let's get here on the the Bay of Bis Biscayne. Is that what this is called? Yes, it is. Biscay. <laughs> Low control into demonic. We are aware. You know what? We could perhaps just fabricate it. We're back at it. I love uh, Wessex's uh, symbol. It's really cool. They've actually gained a lot of land. Maybe he inherited uh, Mercia or something. Okay, let's see here. We want the Barony of Kemper's gold, I think. But they have way more soldiers than us. And they are not in war with anyone, so this is risky. They could pop up at any moment. But let's go, let's go. Great. And let's go back. Prisoners. We love prisoners. Uh huh. Uh, 10 gold? Yeah, sure. Here and there, you know, we, we're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna get it. 
you want to diversify your income. So you need those markets, you need some prisoners. Let's see, this is a small barony. Oh, you know what? It's a small barony owned by a very powerful guy. <laughs> 3,000 soldiers. But he might be off. Uh, he might be off attacking someone. I wish we could see where he actually was. If he's maybe he's just there, not uh, leading soldiers. Uh, my spy master has come to me with great news. Scheming against someone. Okay, let's just uh, let the traitor be known to all. Uh, okay, let's see. Maybe down here. 10, 19. Yeah, okay, this seems like a good place. Hopefully France, France is still at war. West Franking claim on the Kingdom of Italy. Okay. Trading outpost constructed. We're making a lot more money. So basically, Francia is at war with Italy now. Italy... Let's see how this war is coming. It's only it's only them. France is definitely going to win this. Uh, if it's between just the two of them. I guess we're not raiding here. There we go. It's a hostile army, but it's not an enemy army. Where would we want to go next? 14... 10, 17. This is a lot of uh, a lot of good land. Nice. We still want that money. 200. This is uh, this is a money maker. I like seeing it. I do wish though that some actions uh more trading posts, perfect. Kind of what we're not reading, or did we finish it? That some actions would sort of make him, let's say, earn more experience faster. I guess certain sort of actions lead to events where this happens. But sort of, if simply being in the field and raiding gave experience, that would be cool. I don't think it does. You could see now, for example, if it goes up. Oh, David, this is uh, giving us a lot of good stuff. It's a beautiful map, too. Okay, you know what? I think these uh, people want to attack us. So let's actually get the heck out of here. Uh, okay, we got some more gold. Ah, uh, no, we're gonna get attacked, damn it! We're gonna lose it all! We're going to lose it all! Uh, and we can't simply disband someone. No! Uh, okay. The chances are even. The chances are even. So come on, hot all, let's do this. We wounded their mayor, but now Akiten is coming. Oh my god. They're gonna be here in six days. So we won that battle. But we're not gonna win this one, I do not think. We have way less men. Uh, again, chances are even. Better army commander and more army commander traits, but they have more soldiers and more men at arms counter. Oh my god, I'm too scared to. We have so much loot. We have so much loot. It's like enough for a whole building. Ah, uh, damn it. I am not. This is not uh, good for us. Come on, come on. Wo was wounded. Yes, come on. Get Mayor Ogier. We're doing this. Holy smokes! We got so much prestige. Nice! Okay, all we need to do now is get away. That was amazing. We also gained a level of fame and a level of uh, devotion, which is uh, great. So, clergy likes us more. And we get more knights. And other people like us more too. Smokes, this is... It's good to be a viking. Oh nice, we only had to go there. My injured champion. Uh, sorry about that. We should probably have like a physician. But we need to go back to uh, to our place to get that. Finish increasing control. Great. Now only one more place. Or actually here too. Our buildings are done. Um, our claim is soon done too. I think we can afford at least one more building. And this time we should probably do palisades. Uh, it gives us levies. But also... 
uh, more defensive stuff and garrisons. And as you can see, it actually also gives a, gives our spearmen and archers better modifiers. Let's see here, bring that money back. Oh, 89 gold and 89 prestige. That feels so good. Uh, we could just go back out, I guess. Uh, you know what, let's just uh, disband it now. So we can have some people return to us. Uh, yeah, when can we ask for more... S now, perfect. Spend some prestige on that, but that's fine. We do not have a big dynasty yet, which you can see here. Six living members and only one duke, which is us. Um, we do have claim on Oplan, I think. They have thousand. It's a bit more than us. And they also have an alliance. Two Yamtlan, which is our guy. So we're allied to the same person. Um... See here, peasants are angry with us. That sucks, but no. We're not bowing to peasants. Um, so we will have to raise another another rally point. Let's do that here. It's very good how easy it is to, uh, to do that, actually. Okay, I guess we lost some men due to the peasant revolt. So we only have 600. I think we'll destroy these. And it's over. And more fame. And martial skill. Let's see. Naval speed. We don't really need naval speed. Uh, siege effectiveness is good, but we don't siege. Or we kind of will. But we, but we don't have siege weapons, I guess. Organized march, movement speed. Now that's good. Um, and we also have spearmen and archers in our army. So organized march sounds like a really good thing. And we are being raided. Uh, that's not cool. You're our neighbor. What are you doing? Uh, I think I'll remove just this one. And uh, race. Ugh, they're so really powerful too. Y'all dog, what's your prowess skill? 20. No, I'm not gonna stand for this. I will not stand for this. Let's see, let's get a better, let's get some knights. Good, they're cheap. Uh, let's see here. And uh, let's uh, race all armies. Let's go up there. Let's see. Estimate completion, December 8th. I think we'll make that. Uh, you'll probably win. Uh, defending in Taiga, really good. And uh, just defending, high, high quality, more men at arms. Okay, very good. Let's see this. You'll not get away with our money, you dumb upland people. It's their Jarl too. And it's our Jarl. Maimed their commander, good. Maimed, very good. Chopped our head off. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, we captured 15 gold and 8 prestige. Perfect. That's uh, that's what you get. So that's actually what you get. And now we can do this claim here. Perfect. Task finished. My throat can marry. That's us and that's them. Yemplan, yes. You'll probably get a claim, won't you, on Yemplan once your father dies. I hope so. Either way, inheritability traits, quick. Let's do this. Uh, that's from us. Okay. Either way. Now we can finally have a spouse um, helping us with different things. Um, let's see. Good. I guess we'll put these away. Or we can start raiding. We can maybe just even start raiding them. You know what? I'll wait one month to get some people back. And then we'll actually raid them. Champions. Champions. These are these are good good champions. Uh very good people. We'll race them and uh, join them with our army. Ah, uh, there we go. Merge. 
And uh, let's start raiding. Let's uh, raid. Uh, let's raid these assholes for 50, 15 gold. Is there a penalty to war from raiding? I don't know. Oh, now they're in a defensive position. However, we still have the upper hand. And we destroy them. Thank you. Did we even kill their guy? No, we did not. But we do raid. We are raid. Zero? Zero. Raid. Raid with 15. Has it just been raided? I guess, can we not raid them for some reason? Oh, are we... Oh, we are raiding though. We are raiding. Hmm. You have a claim on Namdal Fylki. We can use it. My injured knight. Champion. Sad stuff. Uh, and he likes us more. Great. You know what? I think we'll end it there. This has been a really good rating, uh, rating run so far. <laughs> and I think we'll continue next time. Time flies by in this game. Oh my lord. Um, but next time we will uh, build some more buildings. We'll raid and we will see how far far we can get in uh, creating our new uh, Grand Yaldum. Thank you so much for watching guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.